Um, this is a Pathfinder Club outreach. Okay, description. I think this is more uh, important, I guess, so we, we, don't, we will know what you're talking about. Pathfinder Club outreach, this seminar focuses on how to minister to Pathfinder and how to enable them to minister to others. And you can read the rest. So there's staff to staff, staff to Pathfinder, Pathfinders to Pathfinder, club to church, family, club to community, and Pathfinder community. So all those things we had to cover, but um, yeah. So we learned this together. Can we go next? Okay. All right. Pathfinders. Um, pathfindering conjures up images of marching, camping, curious hobbies, all those things that we do. Um, like, we need, uh, to me, pathfindering is we do all the activities, like classes, honors, drilling, and PBE. Uh, some class could uh, just do drilling and uh, classes. To me, all those uh, activities and honors class, we do all those things. That's, I, to me, it's path, that, that's pathfindering, not just to do classes, not just to do drillings. Um, that's how we uh, learn and teach um, so that we can be equipped. Um, yeah, please stop me anytime. Um, okay, so um, it's very basic, but the classes in Georgia Cumberland, we teach friends class, companion, explore, ranger, voyager, and guide, and plus the ATLT. And now we have navigator, uh, wait, which one's first? Um, pioneer and navigator, right? In between, before guide or something. I don't know if you guys do those, navigator and pioneer. Yeah, um, I guess all, it depends how many volunteers you have and the students. Um, Pathfinders. Okay, so I guess we took those classes, those two classes from Florida Conference or something like that. We tried to do it, but because, because of the number of staff uh, in Beaufort, uh, we tried one, one year, but we couldn't do it the following year. But it's, I guess it's not required yet. Just correct me by Georgia Cumberland. If it's not correct, uh, we can do it either way. Um, okay. All right, next. So we, we, when we um, teach pathfinders, we have to have leaders and we have to know leadership. And okay, so um, yesterday I got, I got into, I, got into, uh, I found lot, lots of good um, resources from the uh, Advent source. And I'll like to show you later, but there's several books that um, uh, can teach us the leadership. Um, okay, so the, the volunteer leadership skilled in the mirror of uh, unusual abilities and interests are, first and foremost, strong believers in Jesus Christ and are sure of the road they are taking towards eternal life. So we need to make sure that we... Um, um, teach the pathfinders that uh, we are going toward, you know, our goal is to, to go toward yeah, eternal life. Okay, so what are the activities? Okay. Um, the imagination of its leadership and membership, uh, members are the primary limiting factors of a, a class abilities. Activities encourage a range from community civic service projects in the community. I'm sure you guys are already doing those. Um, probably these are all reviews. Um, and each cl club has its own unique um, uh, um, ideas and 
the way that they do could be very different from each other. So it's not, there's no set way of doing this and that. So um, whatever works within your club, like staff members are different. So we all have to be, oh, thank you, <laughs> um, flexible. OK. Can we go next? Philosophy. I think I want to go one at a time, number at a time. OK, number one, the Seventh-day Adventist Church is committed to understanding young people and training its youth for leadership and service to humanity. Number two. The Pathfinder Club is a church-centered spiritual re recreational activity program designed for young people 10 to, uh, 10 to 15 years of age. This probably is an old um, uh, information, but I think we go by the grade. Fifth grade to the classes go up to um, 10th grade. And the 11th grade, 12th grade, can be added by a navigator and pioneer, if you use a navigator and pioneer. But it's, it, and TLT, we can use that from ninth grade to 12th grade. So it's all covered up to high, high school level. Okay. All right, number three. While the Pathfinder Club exists primarily for youth, one of its basic purposes is to also bring together parents, church members, through active in involvement with the club and its members. And I'm not sure if you um, include parents as helpers. We probably have to, and we did. Um, in the past, we, uh, George and I were uh, leading the Duluth uh, Pathfinder Club many, many years ago. And we had about 90 Pathfinders then. And we needed parents um, and yeah, their they're help they could be part-time, could be full-time. Um, yeah, so some of them weren't even church members. And because of that, through those experiences, um, parents became Christian and got baptized. I think that we, uh, God in, works in a mir uh, you know, miraculous way so that we get to know him better, or parents, you know, um, they become Christian, or, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I believe that he, the, the, the generation gap dis dis disappears. Generation gap just, just disappears. Yeah. Yeah, as young and old, and I'm getting old, but still, I'm still doing Pathfinders, and, I really enjoy it, and every yeah, every year I, when I see those the young young go, youngsters come in, I get so excited. Okay, number four. The whole philosophy of pathfinding is built on the premise that children learn best by example rather than precept. That's I believe that um, very heart, wholeheartedly. Because um, I probably like to learn from the example by watching and rather than being told. I'm a hard-headed hard person. If I'm told, then I go the opposite way. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, OK. Number five. Young people learn most effectively in a positive, happy, and secure atmosphere. I attended uh, Pastor uh, Lang's um, workshop this morning, and he was talking about being positive. And it's, it, was, it was really inspiring, because if I go uh, to the negative side and show your negative attitude to the kids, then they probably go to the negative attitude. Like he was saying, in a cold, um, temperature, it was, instead of so cold and complaining, he would say, 
oh, it's so refreshing. It's, it could be a, you know, the same situation, but because of the word that he chooses, they all learned kids became, oh, oh God, it's refreshing. It's, instead of being, you know, um, being negative and scold and complaining. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so for us, a failure to listen to and understand the needs of the young people will only erect barriers to real spiritual growth and development. I don't know if you um, experienced that, but kids want us to listen instead of just talk, 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 talk. They probably, you know, they might be hearing, but it probably won't, nothing will retain their mind. I, our kids just went to, the last one uh, went on to college. She's in the dorm now, but she used to tell me, just don't lecture me, you know? Yeah, don't try to fix me. I know what's going on, but at least she communicates with me. Yeah. All right, so objectives. This philosophy is an integral part of the club. The Pathfinder Club curriculum of six classes could be, yeah, six classes, you know, by 250 owners. Maybe it could be more now because there are lots of new things are coming up. And yeah, so those are the heart of the program. Okay, so how do we teach and guide the young people, the youth? Yeah, we can teach them skills from all those materials, but how? Help the young people to understand that God and his church love them. You have to love them first. Yeah, care for them and appreciate them. That could be hard sometimes, but you have to, you have to show your appreciation to them. Because they, I'm sure that I see youth, many of the youth in our church, that they're already leaders. And they just young, they're just little. But I see them, their leaderships, many times in their actions. And, and yeah, so we have to tell them that you appreciate them. And, and, and tell them what they're good at point out their talents. As pathfinders are accepted and affirm they, they, uh, then, then they will begin to appreciate the love of God revealed through the church and its ministry. Yeah. Anything to share? Experience? Please let us know because I want to learn from you. Okay. All right. Encourage pathfinders to discover their own God-given potential. Again, it's talking, we're talking about talent. And to, use, and to use their gifts and abilities to fulfill God's expectations. God's expectation doesn't have to be our expectation, right? It's God's expectation. We have to tell them that. Yeah. Yeah, we all have different talents. We have to let them know what they're good at. Okay. Inspire young people to give personal expression of their love for God by uniting them together in various outreach activities. What kind of activities do you do, outreach activities, with your pathfinders? Do you do any activities, outreach activities? For example, um, uh, last year, uh, we went to Claxton for one week, and um, all the kids, pathfinders, oh, all the kids, I should say, like, like 11 pathfinders, they, they applied, and they came, and then they all stayed with, with, uh, in our house, and we did all the activities from 6.30 in the morning till 10 o'clock in the evening. All we, what we did was to pack, they ate, they, we did the worship, and ate, 
and the, we, we all packed the, the, the lunches for the refugee children in Clarkston, and we distributed, we got there and distributed them. And, and we sorted out the clothes and furniture, and we distributed them, and we visited uh, to fix walls or floors or whatever, and they enjoyed it so much. They got to know each other, and some of the kids from that group went to Mongolia this year, and you will probably hear the, uh, the um, report later on. So yeah, that would be great to, to hear. Um, so um, do you have any particular things that you, you're doing with your pathfinders? Could you share with us so that maybe you can take home and do you have anything that even these little things like cooking for somebody or you don't do any? Yes. Thank you, Tracy. Our community, one thing we do as a community outreach is at Christmas, instead of being in the Christmas parade, we set up a booth and we hand out free hot chocolate. And this year we gave out um, a Bible study and the Hexal Ridge book. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, we did Valentine banquet for the whole church. Pathfinders all day served as a waiter and waitresses and did the music program. Yeah, yes. Some of the pathfinders, they uh, went out to the uh, 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 mo shopping mall or something, and then um, they, they had the, the sign that says, I pray with you or pray for you. That, has, that needs a guts to do, <laughs> you know, just being in the public to do that. Yeah. But kids do those. Yeah, they, they did those things. So you go to a specific place? Yeah. In our community, we have um, the Veterans Parade. Oh. Our King Parade is in Oh, wow. That's awesome. Can you repeat that? Yeah, the, can, can you just turn? I said uh, kids go to the community parade, the Veterans Parade, and they march in the parade with their banner and dress in so when you go out, you go out with the, the Class A uniform and stuff? Or at least like a t-shirt, no, the Pathfinder t-shirt, class, class A uniform. Class A so that they will recognize it. Right, yeah. Nice, okay. All right, I think we'd like to go on. Uh, number four, make the number one priority of your club program the personal salvation of every Pathfinder. Again, we're talking about salvation. Every pathfinder, we, that's our goal. And so this pathfinder age from fifth grade to 12th grade, those are the time that they usually make decisions. I don't know if you see the pattern. Like my children, uh, our children got baptized when they were like between 10 to 12 years old. And most of the churches I've been to, those are the very crucial time, I think, to make their decision for, the, for Christ. Okay. Five. Build into a pathfinder's life a healthy appreciation and love for God's creation by enjoying outdoor activity. Yeah, we enjoy those, right? Campouts being in the nature, hiking, outdoor, being outdoor, it's really 
you see God's presence. So this summer, for first time, uh, George and I and my youngest one went to Hawaii to see other daughter. <laughs> and the first thing, first four nights we did was uh, staying in an organic farm. And it was, it was more like a very, you know, the rural country area that we stayed in a very rustic place. And uh, the bathroom was out, you know, outhouse. And it's not flush toilet. But whenever you do, you have to put the, what is that called? The, compost in it, to, so they, they use those to, to grow vegetables and stuff. <laughs> but I grew up that way when I was little. Um, I'm old, and my grandma's house was our house. I hated it, and she used the compost to make, the, you know, to, to grow vegetables. And, I, 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 and that really reminded my, my child age, and I really liked it. I don't know if... if Kids nowadays would like to do that, but Lisa, my young, yeah, youngest one, she didn't mind it. She really enjoyed it. And when you go out, it's completely dark, no electric. And you see so many stars. And I said, I cried. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you, if you want to do that kind of stuff with, the, with your pathfinders, they'll, I'm sure they will love it. They, yeah, they, they let, yeah, you let them dig the hole for bathroom and <laughs> cover the whatever the, the thing to make a shower room, and I'm sure they'll love it. Yeah, we have to make effort, right? For the kids, yeah. Um, okay. All right, next. Number six. Teach pathfinders specific skills and hobbies that will make their lives more meaningful and will occupy their time with profitable accomplishments. Yeah, like doing things with the hands. I love, I love do, do, I love, I love arts and crafts. And I learn better that way. I guess I'm a doer instead of a thinker. He's a thinker, <laughs> but I'm not a thinker. I'm a doer. <laughs> yeah, I do before I think. So that's a problem many times. <laughs> but, but, yeah. OK, so um, hopefully we have those skillful people as helpers in our club. I'm sure you have those people lined up for, for this year's club meetings and stuff. OK, next, seven. Encourage the pathfinders to keep physically fit. Leaders, you need to be examples, right? You need to be examples. You don't have to go to Lifetime and do all those things, you know, but you just can walk every day, 20, 30 minutes. You can do that with kids. And they like biking, I bet. And we did a 50-mile bike. That's the owner, one of the owners, right? Uh, if you go to a, uh, a, a, a comet, something comet, Silver, Silver comet. comet Trail. That's an amazing uh, 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 trail. It's all paved, and it's huge trail. It, it, and it goes from Georgia to Alabama. And you go and back, it gives you easily 50 miles, right? Yeah. That's only part, part way. Oh, part way, OK. Never mind. Yeah. Um, we did that with the two clubs one time. And it takes effort, though. Your butt hurts. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you can combine club to club and do it together because you probably need a lot of staff to do that because there are slow kids and fast kids. Um, I'm, I'm a new pathfinder again in the first, my first year. So um, in regards to that, does any of the pathfinders will do like a, like a type of, I don't know, little exercise routine before the, you know, during your meetings or after? 
Okay, have you, have you heard of a presidential fitness award? It should be in a class manual, class, every uh, friend to, to guide, they have a, a requirement. Yeah, it's, it's not really an honor, it's by, done by government. You just have to log into the, uh, uh, called a presidential fitness award. It's that org, I think. And you follow that and do exercise according to that, like V-shape, you know, like push up or pull up and uh, oh, shadow I'm around. Trainer, and... so I didn't know if there, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I don't think my clothes, you know, my clothes knows that I'm a trainer. I'm just kind of doing the kitchen work right now. <laughs> so, right. Uh, What's that called? We march every week. That's, and then they play games after they march. Oh, you march every week. You yeah, march. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, so those information, if you like to share later, yeah, um, just go to her and share with her. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we as leaders and staff, we need to be fit too, right? So, yeah. Go for a walk. Number eight. Give opportunity for the development of leadership by encouraging club members to work together and sharing leadership responsibility. So we have to work together. Yes, work together. Um, yeah, so in order for us to work together well, um, it, it, we have to go back to uh, the topic about how to recruit people, right? So that is very important. And so that, when that's done well, then working together could be easier. Yeah. This will teach them to learn the lessons of obedience, discipline, resourcefulness, patriotism, and the process of group dynamics. Yeah, and if, if you give the, the, the youth the responsibility, they enjoy them. Um, they feel accepted, they feel um, trusted. So give them responsibilities. Just even a little tiny thing, they'll enjoy doing it. Okay, number nine. Seek to foster the harmonious development of the physical, social, intellectual, and spiritual life of the Pathfinder. Yep, we need to keep them busy with Pathfinder activities instead of other worthy things. If they are uh, busy with working like owners, you know, the, the leftover owner work to complete at home, they probably will do it. Um, PBE, studying Bible, they will probably do it on Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, all that. They need to be busy, but with the, the right things. Yeah. Otherwise, they, they, they'll, have, they'll have to keep themselves busy anyway with some other things. So Pathfinder is good. Ministering staff to staff. Could, could this be happening? Ministering staff to staff. In what way? Yeah, because um, like I said, uh, one of the parents in Duluth a long time ago, he just came to start to helping us. But we didn't tell him that you couldn't because you're not a Christian. We couldn't. We didn't want to. Um, he has several children at Pathfinders, and he wanted to get, get involved. Eventually, he got baptized within our church. And so, um, yeah, okay, so let's see. Director to staff. We minister them. Staff to staff. Yes, it's possible. Staff to director. Could this be happening? I think so, big time. Yeah, yeah. Because director can be experienced, director can be novice. And staff, it's the same thing, novice, experienced. We all have to work together to make things happen for pathfinders. Yeah. 
And we all need evaluations, right? We need to be evaluated, or we need to be evaluating. And we need to be honest in a, in a you know, in a kind way, that's right. <laughs> Christian way. Yeah, right. OK, next. Ministering staff to pathfinders. OK, let's find out. So this is a center of pathfindering. Do you believe that, right? You believe that. OK, the club, pl club program and activities are the means of, the, of uh, a means to create a relationship that ministers to kids. It's a vehicle. OK. We always had to know how Jesus ministered. And, and, and you know, his, his, his disciples and his people. Um, oh, yeah. I have something to share. I don't know if I have enough. But this is a, um, the ministry model of Jesus, how we are to minister. If you're interested, you can maybe pick it up later. Um, it was from internet, and it was, it was really good information. So if you're interested, go ahead. OK. Um, OK, then specifically, I want to discuss about, discuss about um, so how do we tell pathfinders, OK, good things, and, and that if, you, if you wanted to correct them and stuff, how do we do that? Let's say, OK, the pathfinders came late to the club meeting. How do you take care of that part? I want to know. We used to, OK, we used to have lines, right? Friend, companion, all of that. And then the, the kids that came had to be <laughs> lying on a different line. So that, those are the, the late, late line. Mm. Yeah, we, we get hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so disciplining is, is, is not easy because it's, it's easy to say yes than no. Because you probably get attitude or, you know, it's, it, for us to say no is, is more like you have to really find a way to, to, to tell them the reason why I said no. It's, it's tedious, but you have to do that. OK. OK, how about Pathfinders? Pathfinders? Do you think we can minister to each other? In what way? In what way? Yeah, we have all sorts of uh, kinds of uh, children, right? Some can be disabled, some can be, yeah, we've seen those. And, yeah. Um, a lot of pathfinders um, aren't necessarily just dead. That's right, that's true. That's true. That is so true. We have a mentoring program. Mentoring program. So it helps them get to know maybe their seventh day average friends a little bit better and what they stand for, what they stand for. Yeah. So how do, how, do, how do you set up the mentoring program? We just get the old pathfinders to help the young people. Uh, not necessarily adult to, to pathfinders. So. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Yeah. Spiritual. Right. Yeah. So you assign them? I haven't done that. I've been oh, it, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. One of the big experiences we had when we were managing the 90 Pathfinder Club, uh, we separated them into about set, six or seven different squads, and we had them line up that way. But we purposefully made sure they were mixed in ages so that the older ones that were all together with the younger ones, not necessarily by separating by ages, but randomly, in a way. And that way, the younger junior pathfinders were, were
That's, that's good, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, half and half. Good. Awesome. Okay, next. Club to church family. How can local club minister church family? You can, right? Yeah. I think you can share with them things you do as a club. Mm-hmm. Um, do parents stay... F- and help, or do they, do they just drop off their children? We need to find a way to, what did you say again? Okay, sorry. Yeah, we need to find a way to, for them to, at least to see what's going on. It's, it's my dilemma that um, leading the club and getting parents involved, because they tend to drop off their children. And, well, it's not a, a adventure club, so you can't blame them. You know, adventure club, yeah, it's, it's parents and kids involved. They, they have to do that. But 500, they're old enough to stay. Yeah, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay, so. Okay, how about church family, like in a bigger scale, that, that not, not necessarily the, the, the family that have the, the pathfinders in their family? How can we reach to them? I think the pathfinders should adopt them. A family. Oh. That will go, they'll go and do things for you. Right. Maybe that would bridge that. Uh-huh. Like elderly people helping uh, yard work, or um, maybe single parent can use some teenagers' help, or, or even just taking phone calls to mm-hmm. you know, because our elderly are shutting, you know, most of the time. Mm-hmm. So why can't they pathfinder send cars or call mm-hmm. or right? They can't do everything else. Right. Yeah. Then we can do lots of things. To minister in needs, those that are need in need. Okay. Yeah, we there's lots of planning is involved, I guess. Okay. Okay, clap to community. That could be maybe easy. We just had to get out and do something, right? Like last year's theme. Do something. Yeah. Okay, so how can local club minister community? You probably have lots of ideas, right? Yeah. Like homeless ministry. Yeah. Um, maybe giving, like, like stepping out and pray for somebody. Right, yeah. Like, go ahead. Go to hospitals, nursing homes. Yeah, yeah. We just need uh, volunteers, right? The staff, we, we, we need lots of helpers to do those things because transportation will be the, you know, we have big issue with the transportation. We can have lots of pathfinders, but if you don't have staff, we can do those things. So we have to really recruit those people. Yeah. Okay. Park. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Now that we all know Desmond Doss being in a movie, and we have a little booklet about him, we can just hand him out. This is, he was in the movie. Just read it kind of thing, you know? It's cool stuff. Yeah. OK. OK. OK, I think this is a, yeah, almost time. Oh, good, because I'm done. <laughs> OK, so through pathfindering, we as staff and pathfinders are physically, spiritually nurtured and in part so that we can be H-I-S, his. Here I stand. God bless your um, the ministry. Yeah. Here I stand. Do you have any comments? Or do you have do you have any specific things that you wanted to share? Okay, by the way, this was from I kind of picked picked and chose from this. Useministry.org. Oh, yeah, sorry. So you, you run a Pathfinder club for three years? Uh, okay, so Duluth was about 10, uh, 2004 for, for four or five years. And then we planted the church in Beaufort. And then we started, I started the, the Pathfinder club there. And this year is a fourth year for them, I think. Now they, they have a new leader, so I stepped down. What's something that you like, always notice with the kids, no matter what, what the kids you have? Like, what's a certain dynamic about the kids? OK, so um, to me, I learned to listen to them, really, um, and to encourage them. That's when I got more respect. I don't need to be respected, but I just wanted to, to capture their heart. And listening was the most effective one. Really, really yes. And you had to really listen to them. Not like listen, listening, looking somewhere else. Eye to eye connection, contact. And that you, you had to tell them that you care about you. And just, you know, you don't have to sit down and talk or anything. You know, just in a church setup, like when, when, you come, when they come to a church service, like, hey, what are you doing? How are you doing? You know, just patting on the shoulder. That really, I think, they really like those connections. And you accept them. Acceptance, they're looking for acceptance. Yeah, and smiles. Yeah, they like smiles. Yeah, you know, they, they're going through so many things. Could be at home, could be school. But we had to be the, uh, some type of, oh, I can relax with them, you know, because he, he or she listens to me. Yeah, open up for them. Yeah, thank you for asking. I think we, are, we have to be, well, I know we are leaders. We have to be thinking that we are outreaching. We are reaching to those people. It can be kids. It can be adults. It can be elderly. But, you know, pathfindering, I learned how to parent. I'm not perfect yet. How to be a parent, you know. It's not only just pathfindering. Uh, yeah. It's a good resource for being a good parent. I'm still learning, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Do you have anything else to share? That's it for me. Thank you so much for coming. I think it's time, right? Yeah. OK, if you have something to, that for us to, to do that, George can do that too. Thank you.